All right, guys, we're coming to you with another video. I hope all is well with you guys. I hope um, you guys are living your best life. I hope you guys are finding opportunity in these times that we find ourselves in. So, you know, um, people, I want, I'm gonna just cut straight to the chase. People, when they see Los Angeles, especially those who are, um, what I want to say, transplants, and they look at LA, most things they see, they see glitz and glamour, they see, you know, fast cars, they see exotic cars, they see beautiful women, they see, um, what else, posh houses, um, rooftop eateries, they see all those things and things like that, but, I mean, the reality of LA, honestly, is like I'm gonna, I'm gonna be real with you and this is not even sounding far-fetched it, it, and i see this every single day it's not even a matter of me not even seeing it every single day i see this every single day when i'm here and when i'm going places but um la is really um i'm talking about the whole of la i'm talking about LA County, and I'm talking about, um, also, um, like, the center of LA, you know what I mean, downtown, in those places, I'm talking about all those places, but when you really look at LA, in the surrounding areas, it's basically a third world country, you know, I'm not going to even sit here and try to um, sugarcoat it. It's a third world country. And I'm gonna tell you why it's a third world country. The reason why it's a third world country is for the simple facts that you have politicians, you know, I mean, you have all these politicians here. You have Garcetti, you have all of them and things like that. And they talk about, you know, you read their tweets and they talk about how, oh, you know, they're going to make things better. They talk about, oh, how things are going to be put into law enforcement. They talk about things. They talk about how money's going to go to the inner cities, things like that. They always talk about these things. But when you're on the ground level, the results are not the, the, the results are not like that. The results are quite different, you know, um, as a matter of fact, I was talking to someone today and they said that, you know, uh, they're actually going to try to, I don't know how true this is, but they said they're actually going to try to tax the rich for um, leaving Los Angeles. You know, they're trying to tax the, the rich who are, you know, in a certain tax bracket, in a high tax bracket. They're trying to tax them to leave. But if they leave Los Angeles because of the revenue they bring. And it's, it's really crazy because of the simple fact that, you know, when, when that thing was happening and, and, and here's the thing, I don't support Black Lives Matter. You know, I'm, even if I'm a black immigrant, I don't support it because it's the simple fact is you don't see the results of it. You don't see anything tangible being done. You know, and so I, I really don't support it. Okay. Um, but when you look at the whole situation as a whole, it's really kind of, it's really kind of like just bogus because of the simple fact that, you know, the mayor, Mr. Garcetti, he'll make promises and things like that. And all these other politicians will make promises, but Again, you don't see it. And I'm about to go into detail about like what you see on a daily basis that makes it like almost like a third world country. Now, number one, you know, you see homeless encampments every single place. You see homeless homeless encounts uh, encampments in palms. You see homeless encamp encampments in uh, in Venice, 
You see homeless encampments in Silver Lake. You see homeless encampments in Hollywood. You see homeless encampments in, um, in North Hollywood. You see homeless account encampments, of course, in downtown Los Angeles. You see homeless encamp encampments in every single major hub of LA. And you have to ask yourself, okay, if you're pro promising these things, you know, what? where is the results of what you're promising? You know, like where, where, where are we seeing these results? You know, because of the simple fact that, I mean, on any given day, okay, I'm gonna even tell you what happened the other day, and this is sad. This is freaking pathetic, okay? Um, there was this one homeless person, okay? Now, I don't know what happened to him exactly. I don't know what, what took place with him. You know, I really don't. But when I went up to him, or whatever the case may be, I went up to him, or he came up to me, excuse me, he came up to me asking for money. And the crazy thing is his face was all scraped up, okay? When I mean scraped up, you can see the pink skin. You can see that you can obviously see he needed help, okay? He didn't even have no bandages on. So, you know, you have to ask yourself, okay, well, damn. Like what? What is really going on? You know what I mean. Secondly, what what I saw there is that when when um when let me think. There was something else I wanted to say about it. There was another incident that happened. So I'm riding the train one day, you know, I have to like take care of something. And I'm like, man, I'm not driving, forget that. I'm just gonna hop on the train. On any given train or bus ride, okay? Listen, pay attention. On any given train or bus ride, you can see someone shooting up drugs as if it is normal, okay? There was one guy who was smoking meth on the bus, full, full, full capacity of the bus. Full, the, the, the capacity was full on the bus. This guy is shoot, um, smoking meth, okay? Not giving a shit. So I'm like, damn, like, really? You know, and then another issue is what what the the haves and the have nots are so far removed that they really don't give a shit. You know what I mean? They really don't. This is the this this is always gonna be a common thing. You know, most of the time this is gonna be a thumb common thing. Well it's their fault they ended up like that. It's, it's their fault, you know. They just work hard. They have two legs, this side and the other. They shouldn't be able to do this. They, this, blah, 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 blah. You know, this is this is what you hear, you know, most of the time. Like, oh, you know, they did that to themselves. Um, you know, we're not responsible for them. Things like that, okay? That's what you, you're gonna normally hear from the haves. But a lot of these have nots, I'm gonna tell you from personal experience, I'm gonna tell you from just being on the ground, a lot of these have nots um, have mental disabilities. A lot of them do. A lot of them, when you hear them, they're, they're um, talking crazy, you know, they're kicking things. They're hearing voices in their head. 
even today, I kid you not, I was getting my hair braided. Um, and when I was getting it braided, you know, outside of where I was getting it braided, there was this one Hispanic guy and he was not only drunk, but you can tell he was mentally disturbed. He kept on, for number one, he kept on using the word N-word. Number two, he kept on calling a woman and, and it was obvious, like, I'm like, okay, this, this dude needs to stop. He kept on calling a woman a black bitch. He kept on saying it over and over again. But I knew that there was something wrong with you. And, you know, because normally if a person is clear of thought, you know, then I would be like, yo, what's, what's up? What's your problem? You know, but he wasn't. So that's why I, I just said, you know, it ain't, he, he, he got bigger issues. You know, that's, that's what happened at the time. So the, the extent of, the extent of, you know, the homeless problem, the extent of, you know, mental illness, the extent of all these things is ridiculous in LA. You know, it really is, you know, and they don't do anything. These politicians do not do anything. Um, and it's not about just giving these people a silver spoon. It's simply about just giving them the resources they need to get back on their feet. That's all it's about. You know what I mean? Um, because when you do this, when you have all these homeless encampments, and things like that, you just make the city dirtier. Okay? In any given place in LA, no matter where you are, there will be a pile of debris just sitting on the sidewalk or something like that. Even in damn San Pedro, in San Pedro, when you look at the water, the water is so dirty. There's a lot of pollution and things like that. Okay. And it's like, damn, like what, what is going on? What is really going on? And all I got to say, man, is, um, I guess because this, this place is like the entertainment capital and in that, and just a hub of like movie stars, crap like that, and just even a hub of damn uh, tech shit like that. That, I mean, let, let's face it, there's so many damn people, YouTube stars who come out of California. You know? And even in the Valley, that's another thing. Even in the Valley, you have the same shit going on. You still have homeless encampments in the Valley. And then another thing that, that um, LA, of course, is going, this makes no sense. This absolutely makes no sense at all. So in LA, of course, as you guys know, they gentrify it, you know, they, they're gentrifying LA, you know, they're making it so, you know, it's not really affordable. That's what they're doing, you know, for the most part. So, so when they do that, um, they put these like new places like for example if you go to gardena if you go to even certain sectors of south central if you go to these places they um they ha have like these new apartments these new high rises things like that you know what in all actuality and, and like real talk a lot of those apartments are empty. And it's simply because the people that they want to are not moving in there fast enough. And then instead of, you know, like maybe using that real estate for something else, what happens is 
they pay vacancy taxes for it. And so as a result of that, what happens is um, Lancaster, um, San Bernardino, Bakersfield, then all those places become occupied. And what follows is gang violence out there. You know, go to Lancaster, go to San Bernardino, go to Riverside, go to Moreno Valley. You know, and you'll see the result. But it's been happening. You know, they've been doing that. But it's, it's still happening because of these politicians and their mismanagement of funds. You know, it really makes no sense to me. Um, as for me, you know, I'm thinking actually of um, I'm contemplating maybe leaving LA, leaving California altogether. Um, the only thing that keeps me here really is um, my boxing. Um, because if I left, I mean, I do know a coach in Miami. We have a good rapport. Um, but I was talking to my friend about Miami and that they made, they said it's like better than Cali in the sense that you don't see all of that, but it's still slowly becoming like it. But I will admit the energy is good in Miami. It's been, the energy in Miami is actually better than it is in California. So, you know, I don't know what these politicians be doing with the funds. I honestly think they do what pastors do, like buy yachts and private planes. Because when you're in a position of power, you're obviously going to want to try to keep that position of power. And unfortunately, the way you keep it is not by helping the people who need to be helped. You know, you can see so many far out things here. In Los Angeles, you know. But what can we do? You know, a lot of people will say, "Oh, well, if you don't like LA, then why don't you leave? If you don't like America, why don't you leave?" Okay, um, number one, this ain't your country anyway. America is a settler colony. Okay, it's no man's land. That's the first point. You know. You may try to claim it is yours, but it's not yours. Okay, it's the settler calling me. Number two, who says we're not doing things and planning things and, you know, mapping out plans so we can leave? Who says we're not doing that? Number three, why are you butthurt about people who have an opinion about certain things? Why are you butthurt? Why does it bother you? when it ain't even your country, you know, makes no sense. You know, sure, you may have the power in the country. Sure, you may have control of the resources of the country. Sure, you may have it, but it still doesn't belong to you, you know? It's still a cellular colony. You know, that's the that's bottom line. Anyhow, man, I'm just going to end this and uh, let me know what y'all think about this whole situation in Los Angeles. Do you guys think of it like a third world type situation or do you think of it as, you know, still the glitz and glamour and, you know, people saying I love it here and things like that. I mean, to be honest with you, even them... Um, even down tourism, I think it's dropped here. I believe it's dropped. I'm not quite sure though. But anyhow, man, I'm, that's all I got for now, guys. Google signing out. Good job.